<laughs> you can do it. Go, go, go. All your might. Pull. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Uh. Well, that's a real great way to look sexy. Wow. This is a McLaren 765LT. Let's go. Massively powerful to pull down these doors. Whatever. Just like the engine. 765 metric horsepower. You have yet to drive this, but you know, I really like what you were observing earlier about the car. You seemed really unnaturally obsessed with the color. Well, it's a really weird color for a sports car. Is it like a pale gray? Is it a robin's egg blue? I mean, it's so effete for such a vulgar car. <laughs> it feels like kind of alien in here, doesn't it? Well, it's like a cross between a sea creature and a spaceship. <laughs> I like the sea creature twist. No, really, it's like bilaterally symmetrical. Uh -huh. It's got all those like undulating bits. <laughs> bilaterally symmetrical. I love it. So this is really a rougher, raw, more focused driver's car than the 720S. In my eye, the 720S was a surprisingly refined supercar. Uh, considering the horsepower and considering what that car can do, it can really be super comfy. But this car, you've really got to yell over. No, it's, this car is deafening and it's pretty far from comfortable. It's all about the resonant frequencies and how the sound waves bounce through the car. There's less sound insulation, so you hear it more from the inside. So that's like an aspect that they're selling, that there's less sound insulation? There's less sound insulation. It's about a... It's a gazillion dollars and there's less sound insulation. This one is about $428,000 as equipped. It starts in the 300s, but of course when you pile on all the options, you know, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to this on top of the you basic actually car. actually have one pocket that you can fit a lipstick right here in the side. And you've got this uh, bare structural uh, carbon fiber material on the A-pillars. Well, that's so pretty. So you can see it does look pretty. Well, I was thinking about it. This car is architectural, not like a Frank Geary, that kind of Ferrari creased like sheet metal, but like a Zaha Hadid, you know, very like curvilinear getting really advanced right now with the architectural analogies. I think it's really just kind of a stunner on the road. You feel like everybody's looking at you. Because I think you're a And that's true. And I really feel like one when I drive it in a really well, sort of good you know why? Because you way. drive it like a <laughs> It fits like a glove. What can I say? When you get in this car, and you're gonna find this out, and you get behind the wheel, it feels very natural to drive this car ridiculously fast. I think a really important test of a car like this is the tunnel test. So let's get a little wind noise going on in here. of purposefulness to McLarens, but LT are, models- Are you kidding me? There's nothing purposeful about this car. It's all these like shapes and this and texture, purposeful? I think that's the theatrics I of it. I would say it's I think gratuitous. at the core, it's really, really functional. Um, yes, functional. it's gotta be gratuitous because it's a half million dollar car. It's not gonna look like a tube chassis. I just think, you know, it's really nice for you to say that it's functional, but it's kind of <laughs> This car is all about the unabashed connection between man and mechanical. Um, and there's that a lot sounds of... sounds like your dream. 
I know, and it sounds kind of like marketing speak, but it's true. I mean, everything about this is about feedback. And even the, the roof scoop, this $36,000 roof scoop, it sucks air into the engine. It's really more about dramatics than anything else, but you can't even see out the back you know, because of it. That word makes a lot of sense. This car is kind of operatic, operatic in scale, in conception, in sound. It has, you know, it has a lot of drama. And that drama, you feel at top speed. There's, you know, you may kind of tool around and it can be pretty, but at top speed, it's terrifying. Okay, how about this? Uh. Now, if the camera can pick it up, the rear window filled up with the spoiler because it acts as an air brake when you hit the brakes hard. Speaking of brakes, these are the brakes from the McLaren Senna. These are probably the most powerful brakes on any production car. Uh, may I show That's you? That's reassuring. I will show you, oh. yes. Dissect your body. Yeah, it's like whoops. They're, next, next owner. They're just phenomenal brakes. So there's a lot of electronic intervention going on when you drive this 765 LT. So it's really hard unless you switch almost everything off to understand what's really happening with the chassis, with the engine, with the suspension. But I will tell you, you can hear so much of what's going on with that engine. You can hear the air getting sucked in. You can hear the waste gate. You can hear the turbochargers. So you can hear my brain getting sucked out. <laughs> so focused is this car on absolute performance that air conditioning and a stereo are no cost options. If you ordered this out of the box, it would not come with air conditioning or a stereo. And I will admit, I am using the AC, but I have no desire to listen to music in here. I mean, this is just way too involving. <laughs> a no cost option. Why would somebody not want to get air conditioning? Because they're so badass, they don't want to haul around the extra 16 pounds of hardware it takes for the air conditioning to do its job. I try to win you over with these cars, and nowadays you seem to be a little bit ahead of the game. You know, you come a long way from that first launch control experience. But I want you to swap seats with me and tell me how it feels from the driver's seat. I have to be honest though, as a passenger, no car has unsettled my stomach as dramatically as this one has. Oh really? Uh -huh. Well that's high praise. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna blow $428,000, you may as well at least get a little unsettled stomach. <laughs> you ready?
don't know what you're doing, you want to see what the car is doing rather than have it be all cushy around you. It does know? tell you a lot about what's happening. Okay, here we go. Gas, 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 gas. Yeah, keep going. Go, go, go. Oh, mommy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Well, you'll Ooh. find the brakes are really I effective. I feel the color coming into my cheeks. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of like a trick, isn't it? It's a trick in a car that it would ever stay on the road at this speed. It kind of defies logic. But I see that's where the whimsical comes in. It's kind of fun. And I think in the driver's seat is where you see kind of the audaciousness of the personality. You know, it's a lot to get used to. It feels squirrely. Mm -hmm. it, the amount of sound as a driver, you know, it's just something to get used to. The vibration, there's just all this information coming through your body that you're just trying to process. And for me, I'm simply unaccustomed to it. I'm happy to take over whenever you want me to. Okay. How's that? Uh, oh, it's so quiet. Wow. Uh, I feel like this has more in common with a Millennium Falcon than a car. <laughs> Certainly no shortage of spectacle. So how did this feel like compared to other sports cars that you've driven? Well, I feel like compared to the 911 Turbo, I kind of relax into it. You know, the upper end of the power band was like, never, never land. Like, I was never, never going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing about something like this car is that the numbers don't tell the whole story because this does 0 to 60 in something like 2.6 seconds. It's really not that far off of the 911 Turbo S, but the way it does it is with so much more brute force and it's so much more intimidating. Um, the 911 is really sort of a grand touring car that has these supercar capabilities. So I think that's what's really interesting about the 765 LT. It is just so relentless in its mission to be performance focused that it leaves everything else behind. And it is just a pure driving experience. No concessions. It is what it is. We are almost done. Straight away coming up here. Perfect. Mercy. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, oh, yes. There's a small launch button here. A small. Ready?